You pinched me. Yes, I need a consult. Drop that off to Robin for me. I don't know when she's gonna be back at work. You mean to your house? Actually, no, she's staying at her Uncle Max. I'll give you the address. Kind of a long story. Yeah, and here's the short version of it. Drake Jr. here has made a mess of his life, and now the rest of us are stuck cleaning it up. You know what? I don't care if it was an honest mistake. This is a hospital. If we start making mistakes, people get sick and they die. You fix it. Dr. Grace, call 900. Well, obviously, you're not mad at her. You're mad at me. So if you got something to say, you go right ahead. You know what? Normally, I try to keep my nose out of other people's personal business, unless it starts messing with my workplace. And since you seem to have a problem separating the two, Lisa has now wound up in the loony bin, and we have lost Robin to a suspension. All because you, Drake Jr., cannot keep your pants set. You know that uh, story I mentioned? Well, what it boils down to is I slept with Dr. Lisa Niles and it ruined my marriage with my wife. Hmm. Everyone around here thinks I'm an ass, and I understand if you do, too. I'm just an intern. I definitely don't get paid enough to have an opinion. You work here along with everybody else. OK. You want to know what I think? I feel sorry for Robin. She married a player. She thought she could change him, but players don't change. Dr. Kelly. Hey, what's up? Patrick asked me to run these over to you. He needs a consult. Mm. Oh, come in. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Sorry you had to run these all the way over here. I know delivery girl's not part of your job description. <laughs> no worries. I was on my way home anyway. So, how are you feeling? Better. I don't like not being at work, but I guess the yeah. silver lining is I get to stay at home with Emma. So, how's everything in the hospital? People still talking about all the drama? Uh, Patrick's affair is still the hot topic at GH, but y you know how people like to gossip. Yeah, I can imagine what they're saying. The workaholic wife that couldn't keep her husband happy, right? No, no, actually, most of the gossip is about Patrick. Everyone's pretty sympathetic towards you, and rightfully so. Uh, Epiphany? ripped Patrick a new one this morning over the whole situation. I mean, she's oh, no. she's pissed because everyone's in scramble mode with you and Lisa being gone. Well, I hope she doesn't stay too mad at Patrick. I mean, he still is the best surgeon there. That's pretty generous of you, considering. I mean, if I were in your shoes, I don't know if I could be that understanding. Well, the more I think about the situation, uh, kind of my fault, too. How's that? Look, I knew who Patrick was when I first got involved with him. He was a player. He was a commitment phobe. I mean, he's the kind of guy that should never get married, right? And I went ahead and married him anyway. I made the mistake of thinking that I could change who Patrick is. Sorry about that. She's sleeping, you know. Come here. It is not your fault that Patrick wasn't able to change his ways. I mean, you guys did take vows. Well, apparently they didn't take for Patrick. I mean, one's a bad boy, always a bad boy, right? I can relate. I learned that lesson the hard way. Oh, really? Was he a doctor? Musician. Mm. Even worse. I mean, just great guy, at least on paper. So what happened? Uh, let's just say he liked life on the edge a little too much, and now he's no longer with us. Wow, I'm so sorry. I... I had no idea. Uh, it's okay. Um, it happened a long time ago. Well, at least long enough that I have moved on with my life anyway. Mm. And now I am right back where I started. <laughs> oh, what does that mean? Well, I'm... Kind of involved with someone reckless and charming. And he'll probably die well before his time, too. Mm. It just, it seemed like moving away, which was basically like hiding, didn't really work out for me in the long run. Mm. 